Now we're going to move to the supply side of the market. Here we're asking about how firms produce and how their production changes with the price level. To do that, we're going to have to separate uh, the response by producers into two different time frames, the short run view and the long run view. First, we're going to talk about what happens in the short run. And when we talk about the short run, we have to talk about how firms produce and the production process. Think of yourself as an entrepreneur, somebody that owns, let's say, a coffee shop. If you decide on opening a coffee shop today, the first thing that you have to do is you have to develop relationships and key partnerships for your inputs. You need coffee, you'll need space, you will need employees, and all of these relationships require agreement on what the price of that input is. The price of the output will have to be determined later on after you have produced the product. So there's a gap between the time where you sign your input contracts and the time where you recoup your cost. The gap between the input price and output price determination leads to a possible situation where prices cannot adjust. In fact, when we say short run in economics, we are referring to the time frame when some prices have changed and others are fixed. When referencing long term, we imply that we are talking about a time frame uh, where all prices are free or able to adjust in the economy. And that's the distinction between short run and long run. The friction and price adjustment between the input and output uh, leads to short run aggregate supply curve. The relationship between firms production and the price level in the short run is positive. This means that as the price level increases, firms will increase the quantity supplied in real terms. When price levels fall, the quantity supplied decreases. This movement along the short run aggregate supply curve can be explained using three reasons. First one we will call sticky input prices. Second one is called menu cost. Third is money illusion. Sticky input prices is when your resources your production factors have sticky prices, meaning that their prices are determined by contract. And if market prices change, you still must fulfill your agreement and purchase those resources. In the example of the coffee shop, this is the price of coffee, labor wages, or your rental agreement. However, your output prices are adjustable with the market. So if price levels increase in the economy, your input prices are fixed, sticky, but your output prices can increase. This will allow firms to increase their profits. Firms will increase their quantity supply to take advantage of the stickiness. Alternatively, if prices level falls in the economy, this will lead to lower profits. Since input prices are fixed and our output prices have fallen, firms have an incentive to reduce their production to minimize losses. This, is, this causes quantity supply to decrease as price levels fall. The next reason for the positive slope of the short run aggregate supply curve is the menu costs. This describes the opposite problem. Let's assume that your input prices are adjustable, but your output prices are fixed, or that it's costly to change your prices. The cost of changing prices is called menu cost, and it reflects the cost restaurants incur to change their menus when market prices change. And that's where the name was derived from. The stickiness of output prices and flexibility of input prices will lead to behavior that creates a positive relationship between the overall price level and the quantity supplied. If the price level in the economy increases but firms cannot change their price of their output, their product will be relatively cheaper than everyone else's. This causes an increase in demand for that firm's product and firm increases their quantity supplied in response. Money illusion is something we've talked about in the previously when discussing inflation specifically. But here we're going to talk about it from the production standpoint. Money, money illusion occurs when people interpret nominal changes in wages or prices as real changes. What happens here is that workers are very reluctant to accept pay, de pay decreases. Even when the pay decrease is only nominal, 
If the price level in the economy falls, wages should fall too. However, money illusion causes wages, wage prices to be sticky. Employees are reluctant to reduce their wages. Therefore, firms respond by reducing their output to minimize the losses. On the other hand, if price levels increase in the economy, firms will be reluctant to increase wages for employees and therefore will be able to increase profits by increasing quantity supplied. The stickiness in the market between input prices and output prices is what creates the upward sloping aggregate supply curve. If there's no stickiness in the economy and all prices can adjust simultaneously, then aggregate supply curve would be vertical. As input prices change, firms can adjust output prices and vice versa. This would mean that firms' output will be fixed, but prices change. We will discuss this when we discuss long-run aggregate supply curve. For now, we will focus on the short-run aggregate supply curve. Next, we're going to talk about shifts in the short-run aggregate supply curve.